Hello, it's James from JRTBs. Uh, it's October the 12th, just uh, around 1 o'clock. It's about 62 degrees. It's a nice day. All the bees are flying a little bit, not too much. Uh, but I wanted to make a quick video. It's been, it's been 22 days since I put the Apivar strips in. And I just want to show you what I'm doing this afternoon. Give these girls some smoke. We'll see how they are. They're usually a little testy. And what I got here is I've been feeding them for the last couple of weeks. Um, not too much. I filled these up twice. Um, some of the colonies were really light and they've been filled up three times. So I'm also checking the weight. And I got my notepad there so I can keep track of the really light ones and the really heavy ones. And we'll see who needs more food. Lots of bees. That's good. I'm going to knock these off as much as I can. So this is the, the top super. I just want that full. It's still not that warm, so they're a little, a little lethargic. And everything is cracking I'm going to pop propolis so now I can feel that up. and that is pretty much full of that super a little smoke they don't seem too grumpy make sure you can see here you can see the ape of our strips there hanging on toothpicks so I'm not saying you guys have to do this. It's an extra step that I do. I pull them out really slow, just in case the queen is on them. But it's a 42 day treatment. And I don't know where I read it or saw it. Get the bees off. But uh, I don't know if you can see the strips. They're pretty smooth. You know, they've been walked on. Um, but I literally just take my hive tool and scratch. Open up the pores, open up the plastic, and you can see it, it definitely makes some deep cuts in it. And my thought and what I read was just to kind of invigorate the strip it takes a few minutes and I go in all different directions I don't know if you can see that but it kind of opens it up a little bit so then I can see where it was there so I'll move it move it to a new location And, I don't know, it's been working for me. I wasn't going to do it this year, but it has been working, so I'm going to do it again. That one came up really quick, and I think it's important to pull it out real slow. Sometimes they get them propolized in. Well, a few bees came out on that, so they're not super happy. So I'll do this one up here on the top so I'm not making them mad. I don't know if this is necessary, but it doesn't take that long. And then I can also, it's important to check the weight. That's probably more important to check on them. So I'm going to move this one over to 
just moving them over one frame just to kind of put them in a new spot and I think it's a good idea to just go down really slow too just in case you bump your queen I'm not pulling out any frames and now that I got the super off I could feel the weight of this and that's probably half full so it's not light they probably have enough for winter um, put the super back on the super is pretty full get that reset I want to feel the whole thing yep I'd say they could use a little use a little bit more I'm either going to do light, heavy, or medium. So number 15 is an M for medium. And then we will put the feeder right back on. Top back on. I'm going to get these bees out of here first. Come on, girls. And that's what I'm going to do. And I can check on all of them. And then, uh, I didn't mix up any more sugar water yet, but I will. Um, but it looks, it looks like the weather, it's starting to dip down into the 40s at night. Uh, 50s and 60s during the day. So, it's still good, but I think they're done bringing, bringing anything in. All the golden rod is dried up. There's still some asters around, but... I think they're pretty much done. Um, I do see some pollen coming in still. Um, but at this stage, I'm not checking for queens. You really don't want to be pulling frames and all that. And there's some pollen coming in there now. Um, I figure if there's pollen coming in, then there should be queens. And there's definitely, don't see any more drones. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I know it's an extra step, but um, another 21 days from now, I'll go in and I'll pull all the strips out, check their weights again, but by then it'll be beginning of November, it'll be too late to feed liquid, and then uh, I'll make another video and show you how I get them ready for winter um, with uh, emergency feed and shims and all that stuff. All right, just wanted to make a quick video, show you what I'm doing today. All right, good luck with your bees. Talk to you soon. Thanks.